Hi, my name is Susie Pugh and I'm really proud to be the Head of Senior School at Dulwich College, Seoul. Well, thank you very much, Susie, for coming along today. I'm Tony Garrett from the Kiwi Chamber and we're kind of interviewing you today to get your perspectives about Dulwich, about yourself, about the Senior School. So can you give me a, just a little bit of a summary of your background in education and what kind of motivates you the most to be an educator? Oh, great questions. Um, I think for me it comes from um, being very lucky to have been inspired um, from being very young and I think that to me is a real element of education. It's about that curiosity and harnessing this. So I was um, trained in the UK in the British education system and I moved internationally in 2008 to initially into Malaysia to set up a new school um, and that afforded the opportunity to take my pedagogical and teaching practice and apply it in a very different cultural context. So I really valued this sense of um, community, the sense of recognising different cultures coming together um, with the purpose and the vision of being able to educate young people to go out and do exciting things in the world. What do you think is really um, important for educational leadership, but how, how would you encompass that now, several years on? Yeah, I think it comes back to um, those core principles of thinking about the expertise and the, and the people you're working with. So education is one of those really unique industries where you've got students, you've got teachers, but you've also got parents. So you've got this real triangulation of different groups of people who all want the same thing, but actually approach it in very different ways. So for me, that big sticking point has always been, and that big kind of stickiness, if you will, is this sense of being able to give people an opportunity to share, because they will invariably have different perspectives, different ways of looking at things, which is only gonna make you collectively better. If you were gonna talk about uh, your unique selling proposition, you know, it's a very competitive landscape, mm -hmm. you know, international education, education generally in Korea yes. is extraordinarily important. How would you describe your unique selling proposition? I think for us it's about balance. We believe very strongly in the sense of diversity. We welcome diversity, we value diversity, and we make sure that our young people are open and aware of this. We really do value excellence. You know, as I've said already, we, we have outstanding results. You know, we are within Seoul. We achieved in the IB the highest results of anyone in the last academic year. And we also are really, really um, conscious of being kind because it's easy to say, but it isn't easy to do. We do try and think very carefully about how we use learning as our focus all the time. So everything that you see when you walk around the school is geared to how we can make sure our students are being able to access the things that they need. We're very, very well resourced. We are very, very lucky to have such expertise in our staff, bar none. Everybody is a real expert in their field. And I think that passion and enthusiasm really permeates through into our, into our students as well. We really value here authentic learning experiences and that's got to come from connecting with the community. So going back out on adventurous journeys, coming and meeting people such as yourselves in the, in the chamber to really get to know different groups so our students get different experiences. Not everything we do in school is always going to be translatable in the real world, but there are so many facets there are and I think it's those soft skills that are really for me about authenticity. It's about being able to collaborate. It's about being able to ask good questions. It's being able to be critical thinkers about the information we're getting. Students understand, and young people, in irrespective of their age, that there is an applicability to what they're doing. We're sending out into the world young people who are confident, who are caring, who are kind, and who are really able to solve problems and go out there and, and achieve excellence. Okay, so let's look at the International Baccalaureate, um, well, the IB diploma in particular. Can you elaborate um, what makes it so valuable? Yeah, I think it's, one, it's opportunity to study um, a variety of different subjects. So as part of the IB, you have six subject groups that you study. So you're maintaining that breadth of study. So everyone will study a language. 
which is really important if you're going to go out there and experience different things and be able to communicate and understand cultures. You will continue your study of maths, English. You will then look at choosing a science pathway, one, maybe even two. And also our humanities through our individual societies, as well as really keeping that creative edge alive. So you've really got this holistic program. And supporting all this, you then have the IB core, which is where students actually learn how to think critically. Mm. They look at where knowledge comes from and they demonstrate that in a variety of different ways. And we just find that it is rigorous, but it also is a great preparation for going out there into the next steps. I really do relish, as the chair of the chamber, our relationship with Dulwich. And obviously, uh, when we see people like yourself with so much passion and enthusiasm, <laughs> and motivation to go forward, you know, I, I think this relationship is going to be very strong in the future. So I would really want to thank you very much uh, for taking the time out to talk to us. And I really wish you well, uh, based, uh, I don't actually think you need to be wished on. I think you're going to do very, very well <laughs> very in everything that you possibly do. Oh,